Hi, you guys. Um, Tarantha Jenkins and Thomas McGovern Skyped with me last night, and um, they told me that um, that Brent Spiner actually went up to heaven, and he's the only man on my marriage list who did this, to meet my stepdad when he arrived in heaven, and Brent gave him a tour of the house. I haven't heard from Brent yet. I am dying to hear from Brent. Because I want to know, I want to know what, what the tour was like. Terrence told me a little bit more about my stepdad's house. It has a bowling alley. <laughs> Terrence said he had a dream about my stepdad and that he was bowling. And I was telling um, Terrence that my stepdad was very level-headed, but he was an upbeat guy. And he says, yeah, he always had a big smile on his face. And he was just upbeat about everything. And I'm going to try to portray him that way in my book. You say, well, why are you making this video in your exercise outfit? Well, you know, I, remember I used to be on a diet. Well, I'm, I actually kind of quit worrying about the diet and just eat what I like to eat. And I discovered by accident how to lose weight. I mean, I wasn't even trying to lose weight. I'm eating, the only th I'm still eating a lot of raw fruits and vegetables. That's because it tastes good. Like I love the berry smoothie I have for breakfast. But look at this. I um, haven't even tried to lose weight. And when I went on the scale this morning on an empty stomach breakfast was 130 pounds. So I've gone, I've actually dropped from a starting point of about 143 down to 130. I have not even trying to lose weight. So you said, however, I will say this, Jesus has ordered me to walk every day. And I made sure I did it even when I was at my mother's place. But when I was at my mother's place, I was focused on making food she would enjoy eating. So I, I had a lot of meat that I had to cook because it was about to go rotten. So I sliced up some chicken breast and put that in the salad. Um, I made um, fried rice with, uh, with carrots, celery, onions, in, um, and, and I used ground beef for that. I don't use bacon because I, I think bacon's unhealthy, too many preservatives and all that junk and then I um and then I uh, also I made mother miso soup because she's Japanese so she likes her miso soup so we were I was getting a lot with with lots of tofu a whole thing like a whole two cups of tofu in the soup of course we didn't eat all the soup I wanted to make enough for her to last for a while because she likes that and I and then we had fish just about every night. Though last night I didn't have time because I was I came home. But the point is, by making by having like about, I'd say, about a about a half cup of protein with every meal, I'm going down. I, I wasn't eating enough protein. I was getting fruits and vegetables, which is good, but I wasn't getting enough protein. So apparently I was B12 and iron deficient. And I was getting these foot cramps at night. Iron deficiency can lead to foot cramps. So, and I've also, I'm still keeping up my bananas and the potassium, and I love avocados. So if I can get, if they're, sometimes when I go shopping, they don't have the kind I like, so I skip on avocados. But anyways, I've increased my protein. I have a respectable protein serving with every meal. I love my raw, and I'm mostly having it because I like it. So I have my berry smoothie in the morning, which I make with almond milk, flax oil, raw kale, and berries. And I blend them all in a blender, and that's my drink. And then, and then what I'll do with the rest of the berries is I'll mix them with some, like, I love the Greek yogurt. I'll mix that with the uh, berries, and that's my breakfast. Mmm, I love it. I love it. Hey, that's my breakfast. Sometimes I'll have it for dinner or lunch, too. And then for lunch, I'll have a protein with maybe a salad and a, a, and a vegetable as a side. And then for a, and then for dinner, another protein, um, maybe. And they don't always have to be the same protein. I try to have fish at least a couple times a week. I'll have chicken. I'm not limiting myself to ground beef, but I discovered i got to have red meat about me because I tend to be iron deficient. I don't know why. And B12 deficient. I, t I got to have red meat almost every other day. So I've been doing that. But I always get the lean ground beef, minimally processed. Anyways, look at this. Lost 12 pounds, not even trying. Now, I do, I do walk 30 minutes a day unless it's raining. And if it's, if it's raining, then I'll, then I'll compensate. I'll do it on here. 
But um, basically, I'm out there every day. I, Jesus' orders, I do everything Jesus tells me to do. And also, when I was at my mother's place, she had a blood pressure machine. And I took my blood pressure there. When I uh, first showed up, I think I was um, maybe a little stressed. You know, because I, I, I get a little stressed around my mother because I, um, I worry about her. <laughs> I worry about my sister's influence on her. I don't want my sister to get her all upset. So my, but then once I was there and I could tell that I was succeeding in calming her down, that actually made my blood pressure go down. So I know apparently I don't have a problem with high blood pressure. Let me tell you what happened. My first day there, the blood pressure was like 131 over... 81 um, by increasing my protein and I don't completely get this <laughs> increasing my protein and and also I think our um, allergy might I don't know anyways I'm not sure what happened but I've increased my protein I don't know if there's a medical basis for this or not but my blood pressure went down <laughs> I took my blood pressure a day later and it was, believe it or would you believe this? It was 104 over 65. <laughs> I thought, girl, you don't have a problem with high blood pressure. My first day there, my pulse was like 104. And I thought, man, what's making my pulse so high? Um, it could have been stress, but I don't think it was only stress. Um, I, there's a correlation between this, but sometimes when your body's in allergic response mode, it makes the pulse rate go up. And I've noticed if I eat something I'm allergic to, my pulse rate goes up. In fact, I went to a doctor who's a specialist in allergy and environmental medicine, and he discovered that um, you know, pulse rate going up can be indicative of allergy. So that's one way for us super allergic people to tell if we're reacting to something. Anyways, the next day my pulse went down to about 100, I mean 84. Uh, that's still a little high for me, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I think maybe uh, my body's clearing out yeast toxin and from the cells, and I am allergic to yeast toxin. But the good news is, no blood pressure. Weight's going down. Leg cramps have stopped. I've increased the protein. Still have a little bit of raw every day. Um, drink lots of water. Uh, can, doing 30 minutes of walk, a walk every day. And I need to get back to my waist exercise because I've been getting some back aches, and I think by strengthening my ab muscles, I'm going to help this right, the lower back. I, I kind of backslid on that. So, anyways, no blood pressure problems. Weight's going down. Not even trying. Um, I am eating well, so don't go around thinking I'm anorexic. Um, but, you know, I had to increase my protein. I wasn't getting enough, so I was probably shorting myself B12 and iron, and I'm feeling feeling really great physically and mentally too. I know where my stepdad is and I'm rejoicing for him. I can't wait to hear from Brent to find out what it's like, what it was like when he gave him a tour of the house. <laughs>